Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm having a fantastic week. Don't let me sing. So it's been a little bit since I saw you guys last and I don't know about what's going on in your lives, but in my life, a couple things have happened. Numero uno, the elephant in the room, which is these pants and the shirt combination. Who let me get dressed this morning? But in all seriousness, uh, I have limited pant options because I would try and fit it over this ankle brace because I sprained my ankle. I don't think I can tell you how, for reasons that will remain a mystery. Oh, the game is something. But I did. I sprained my ankle. Never done it before. Um, 10 out of 10 would not recommend doing, but this is a new life experience, so. So I don't think I can tell you how it happened, but I can tell you when it happened at three in the morning on January 1st. Real good start to the new year, I'd say. So aside from my sprained ankle, I also got a cold from going, I believe, to the doctor's office to look at my sprained ankle. Could be wrong, but I've literally not gone anywhere since I sprained it besides work and no one at work has been sick. Although today I'm pretty happy. I am feeling better. My sprained ankle doesn't hurt nearly as much as it did a couple days ago. And my sore throat and cold doesn't feel as bad. I think I burned it away by chugging grapefruit juice. I'm just hoping I'm getting all my ballot out of the way because if 2021 ends up being like the sequel to Hunchback of Notre Dame instead of being the sequel to Lion King, I'm gonna be really upset about it. <laughs> Hopefully one of you gets that joke because uh, if you've ever seen The Hunt for Notre Dame 2, it is a disgrace. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So before I move into what we're actually doing today, I have one more life update or just update in general. Um, have you seen the Bernie meme? The Bernie meme, where he's wearing his cute little gloves was in on that chair. So, somewhere in this video, you will see the Bernie meme. I'm not gonna tell you when, I'm not gonna tell you where. You're just gonna have to try and find a little Bernie sitting in a chair somewhere in this video for your enjoyment, pleasure, as well as my editing pleasure. So what are we doing today? Now that I've gotten through my mini ramblings, we are doing a video that is pretty fitting for the new year. I think a lot of people in the new year want to get organized and want to clean their house. So that's what we're doing today. So in our apartment, we have a bedroom and then attached to the bedroom is our closet and then a bathroom area. So not only do I want to just get that nice and clean and organized because it's been bothering the crap out of me, <laughs> I also wanted to do it because I've been working on our bedroom and bathroom for probably the course of a year since I moved into this apartment really and I just can't seem to get it to where I like it. So you're gonna see a couple of past clips of what I've done to spruce up the bathroom and the bedroom. So I guess we'll go over that first and then I'll drag you guys over as well as myself over to our bedroom slash bathroom and then we will tackle the mess over there. Prepare your eyes. It is not a pretty sight. Let's start at the beginning, when we moved in to our apartment. If I have the footage of the bare bones of our bedroom and bathroom, I will insert them as I'm talking right now. The bedroom layout is weird. The way they have the door situated um, for both how you enter and then to the bathroom, there's not even a door there actually, but the doorway, uh, it makes it for very minimal arrangements of the bedroom which is very inconvenient and they say it's a walk-in closet in our bedroom but it's not it's just more of a I like to call it a standing closet you can fit your body inside but there is no walking to be done in the walk-in closet so I am not a fan of how we have laid out the bedroom so here's what it looked like when we first moved in I don't really like the layout but I don't know how else to do it without putting the bed against the wall and knowing my boyfriend I will be the one that's against the wall which will make it highly difficult for me to climb in and out of the bed every time I have to get up if he's in the bedroom with me. So ignore the layout, I don't like it. But we are working with what we got. The first thing I wanted to tackle was our duvet cover. I do like this Ikea one that I have. I don't hate it. 
it has some beautiful florals. I think it's nice and bright and airy. So I'm not gonna get rid of it, but I wouldn't say it's quite uh, what I wanted to go for. So I decided to get a new duvet cover from Sin and Linen. Be bringing them back up again later on, but I decided to get this duvet cover from them. I think it is beautiful. I do wish that uh, our room kind of got more sunlight in it. So that way you could see the beautiful embroidery that is on that duvet cover. Otherwise it just looks like it's a black duvet cover. And then to go with that duvet cover, I got these pillowcases that have a spiderweb embroidery on the corners. They're also really cool. Have the same problem though. They look kind of just like they're black unless the height, the light, unless the light hits it just right. When the sun hits that ridge just right, these the sheets hang. You'll notice that this time these sheets are pink. Uh, I got these sheets a while ago. I like them because they had little lace on them and they're also super soft and they were pretty cheap from Bed Bath & Beyond but I've had them since 2017 I believe. So they're looking a little worse for wear and also I just don't want the dusty pink color. Uh, I eventually want to try and, and attempt to dye them black with the Rit dye. They are 100% cotton so they should take pretty easily to the dye. I just haven't gone around to it. And honestly, we only have one pair of bed sheets on the bed right now, so it kind of becomes a pain in the butt if you have to wash the sheets because you have to make sure you wash them and dry them and put them back on the bed before you go to bed that night. And sometimes that, that doesn't happen. happen. So I'll make sure and share what I got for that later on in the video when we're actually doing the improvements I'm making today in the video. Yes. So aside from those aspects of the bedroom, another thing I decided to do to our bedroom was change what was in front of our bed. So as you can see, I moved the trunk from the living room to our bedroom and then got a brand spanking new coffee table, which is a thousand times better than using that trunk. So that's how the front of the bed looks like now. So it is a little cramped, but it was cramped before. So to me, the adding that didn't really affect how I felt about how cramped the bedroom is because it's already cramped. So I think the last clip I have that's pertinent to the video today is I added these candelabras from Target as well as these wall mounted candle holders that I got antiquing a while ago. I found these at an antique store for $10 in Astoria which I think is a really good deal because I've seen people try and sell these wall sconces for upper, upwards, upwards, <laughs> upwards of $50 on Etsy, so I was very happy to have found some for only $10. Maybe in the future I'll spray paint these black or something, but for now I don't really mind that they're gold. Of course, I got some black taper candles to go inside of the wall sconces. So here is what it looked like on the wall, and I'm very excited. And I pre dripped some drips on the candles so that way. We won't ever have to light these because I don't know how people did it back in the 1900s and prior, but <laughs> I, I would be so scared of having a lit flame so close to a wall. Let's go ahead and put them up there. I'm going to put one on each side of the bed frame and I think that'll just kind of help finish it off and make it look a little nicer in here. So I decided to put those on either side of the bed. Now we've gone over the bedroom portion, let's move into the bathroom. So I think the clips I have from the bathroom include me getting a new shower curtain, a new bathrobe, and then hanging some items on the wall. So the first thing I decided to tackle in the bathroom area was the shower curtain. So while I do love chemistry and a good old fashioned cheesy chemistry joke, uh, I just didn't really want that shower curtain anymore. I think I had it since 2012 or 2013 when I was in college and got this new shower curtain from Society6. I think it is so stinking cute. The Grim Reaper bathing in the bathtub with a good glass of wine. If I can find it, I'll link it down below in case you also want to get yourself a little Grim Reaper face soaking in a bathtub. So another thing I wanted to replace was my bathrobe. This one is very soft and plush and it looks like you're being squeezed by a teddy bear, but I spotted a new one. I'm gonna save that one still because that one is good if you're really cold on a a uh, really cold night, but I got a new one again from Sin and Linen. Yo, Sin and Linen, if you ever want to sponsor me. I decided to get this bathroom from Sin and Linen. I thought it was so cool. It has a spider web uh, pattern all over it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So I have that robe hanging on my door hook. So unfortunately, I'm still on the hunt for some bath towels to go in there. So if you have any recommendations for good gothy style bath towels, let me know. So another thing that I decided to do was add some 
wall hangings because it was pretty bare. So I decided to add two Haunted Mansion cards that I decided to make into prints and then frame them in these two Ikea frames. And then I also decided to hang up behind the door my lovely collection of Mickey Mouse ears that I've collected. Not all of them, but they're my some of my favorites. And then I put two different purses that I have underneath to make this little arrangement. I don't know. I think that's everything that I've done to spruce up our bathroom and bedroom. Uh, let me show you the disaster has turned into over the last couple of months, particularly the last month, uh, where I haven't really been able to help out in cleaning all that much. So <laughs> prepare your eyes. Also prepare for some hopefully gratifying uh, before and after shots because I'm hoping it's going to look 10 out of 10 superb in there. Let's go ahead and head to the bedroom and bathroom uh, to see the chaos. Welcome to the chaos that is the bathroom. Figured we'd start here first because this is the most <laughs> heinous area of our bedroom and it's been bothering the most. Uh, I have stuff sitting from when we went to Walt Disney World back in October. Uh, my boyfriend apparently can't put things away. Definitely throwing shade. I think the first thing I need to do is just clear everything off. Uh, I can give it a good spritz and cleaning with this stuff and then we'll have a clean slate to move forward. I also need to grab myself a hammer and nails because I want to hang a couple things on the wall and then move some things around. So let's go ahead and do that. Cue that beetle time lapse. Sorry if the angle is kind of a bit funky. Uh, I'm trying to sit down while I'm doing this so that way I can rest my poor wee ankle uh, and not hurt it anymore from what it's doing now. What was that? What was that? Cue the time lapse. and clean off the counters and then we'll meet back up here to try and figure out how I want to organize everything because some things I don't really want to use anymore but I might have to depending on how everything goes with the organizing. organizational items I got from Zombie Crafts back a while ago. I think I showed it in my small business shout out Halloween edition video. It's been a while so now I'm actually gonna put them into use. So this guy I need to hang up and I was actually thinking about hanging this up over there where I have my current Haunted Mansion picture and I'm gonna move that into the bathroom I think. So I'll put this to the side for now and then deal with that later once I'm done with the countertop. So I'm trying to think, um, possibly I could use one for myself and then one for my boyfriend to organize items. Problem is his things aren't really good for this sort of shape. 
I did buy these makeup brushes that I still have not used and they're still in the packaging so I might as well bust them out and put them where they were intended to go which was in one of these as a makeup brush holder. These are pretty cool because they go from green to purple to black. And I got these off Witchwood bags and they seem pretty soft so I'm excited to use them. So as I'm unwrapping all these makeup brushes, it kind of makes me wish I had the ability to do good get ready with me's, but let's face it, I don't. <laughs> in my opinion, in order to have a good get ready with me video, you gotta be great at storytelling. Also is why I don't do storytelling videos on my channel, because I'm an awful storyteller. So bad. Uh, I've been re-watching a lot of John Candy's videos because Ryan Reynolds made a dedicated video to John Candy that I was like, oh my god, I totally forgot about John Candy's videos and how awesome they are. So I started watching them and the other day I watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and I personally felt attacked by Steve Martin's character when he was going off on John Candy's character. So let me set the scene for you in case you have not seen Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and if you haven't, please correct that as soon as you can. The scene. They're in bed together. So John Candy has done things to annoy Steve Martin to death and also probably annoy me if I were in Steve Martin's shoes. <laughs> but John Candy has spelt beer in the bed and has decided I before bed would be the best time to clear his sinuses so that way he doesn't snore in the middle of the night. <coughs> Steve Martin has had it with his tomfoolery throughout the whole entire day. So he gets up and just what? starts what? blasting John Candy's character. Steve Martin decides to give it to John Candy, where it really hurts his character. And in this scene, instead of Steve Martin yelling at John Candy's character, I felt like he was yelling at me. You're no saint. You got a free cab, you got a free room, and someone who'll listen to your boring stories. I mean, didn't you, didn't you notice on the plane when you started talking, eventually I started reading the vomit bag? You choose things that are, that are funny or, or mildly amusing or interesting. You're a miracle. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. And by the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. And that's when I realized I'm not good at storytelling. So if you ever meet me in real life, good luck with my storytelling. There is no one there to edit me in person. <laughs> so now that I've unwrapped all of the makeup brushes I had, uh, I'm trying to see if I get better in the cauldron. We're in the spider web. So I think I like the makeup brushes better and the cauldron because you can see them better, but then I don't really know what I'm going to be using for jewelry things to help organize them. But we'll just figure that out later. If his stuff has to get shoved into a drawer, so be it. <laughs> so instead of me rambling, I think I'm just going to do another time lapse video. I may do a voiceover, who knows, but I feel like this will be better for me uh, in terms of speed because the sun is going down and my boyfriend will be home from work soon, so I just need to get going. replace so now I'm going to replace this haunted mansion picture I have here and put it in the toilet shower area and I'm going to put up this little guy up here so I'm gonna use command strips oh I'm so short so I'm gonna use command strips instead to hang this I feel like it'd be easier for me uh, in the future so I'm gonna go ahead and hang this and then I think we're done with the bathroom almost. I have one more thing I wanted to show you guys and then I'll move it to the bedroom. Uh, 
All right, so I think I got the bathroom pretty well organized. There are just two final things I wanted to talk about. One is I found some pretty cool bath mats slash rugs on Sour Plus Clothing. So one of them I got is this, Wee. this is a bat shaped bath rug. And so I thought I'd put it in front of the shower here. And then the rug I got from Sour Plus Clothing is this, ooh. is this one? It is a spider web. So they've had the spider web design for a while, but I've only seen the half spider web, which I've been trying to get, and I'm still trying to get from Sour Puss Clothing, but I never can seem to make it quick enough when they've restocked them. But they had the full spider webs in stock, so I ended up getting one of those. So I figured I'd put that one to replace the rug in front of the sink. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those two rugs, the one that used to be in front of our shower, then the one in front of the sink with those two. And then I wanted to show you this coffin shaped shelf that I got from Sour Puss Clothing as well because I've seen a lot of people not really know what to put on those Sour Puss uh, coffin shaped shelves and I also didn't really know for a while until I brought it into the bathroom and it works perfectly for nail polishes, perfumes, lipsticks. So that shelf works great. So I'll show you kind of how I organize mine and then before I give you the final reveal of the bathroom, we'll go into the bedroom and just start cleaning. This one's going to be mainly a time lapse because there's not really much to mention aside from the bed sheets, which I'll mention to you guys before I start. But otherwise, it's just cleaning. A lot of cleaning because it's messy and it's organized and it needs to be saved. So here's the shelf I got from Sour Puss Clothing. I have one of them in the kitchen and then also this one. I wanted to move the one I have in the kitchen in here, but it's red and this one's green. So that's gonna be far too Christmassy for me to move in here unless I wanna spray paint it, which I might do in the future. But right now it's not on the agenda. So this is how I organized one of my Sour Puss Clothing coffin shelves. Mouthful. So up here I have lipsticks. Uh, ignore the Jeffree Star Kat Von D stuff. I haven't bought from them in a very long time. Those are very old. So I probably should throw them away, but I haven't, so whatever. And then over here, I have some little tiny perfumes. One's from BPAL, one's like a little sample one from Nest. That on this shelf, it is the perfect shelf for nail polishes. So if you also have nail polish, uh, that works great for this shelf. And then this shelf is actually the tallest shelf. This one is great for things that are a little bit taller, such as my face moisturizers and toners and whatever else. What the hell am I doing? So hopefully this kind of helped you if you were a little bit stuck on what to put on this coffin shaped shelf if you also decided to get it from Sour Puss Clothing. Finally on to the last area to clean and spruce up which is the bedroom area. So I basically already talked about all the improvements I made before this part of the video where I'm cleaning it. And the only thing left I have to mention is the bed sheets because they are new which you can't really see behind me um but they're the green the green stuff the, the green stuff right there so i was planning on putting them on with you guys but i was just too excited uh, when they came in the mail so i washed them and newly put it on my bed and they are just oh i'm really happy whenever i climb into bed uh at night <laughs> here are what the bed sheets look like so the bed sheets are from Sin and Linen, the same place I got my duvet cover, which is not on the bed right now, because it's being washed. We'll put that on together in the time lapse. Anyways, uh, Sin and Linen is kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it for the designs. So here is what the pattern looks like. It is a floral pattern with bats flying all around. I really like it. I think it's so cute. They've had this design for a while, but they keep coming out with new color variations. So they have one that's white and black. I think that was the original one, as well as a blue and white one. I think those two are the originals that came out. And then now they have a red one, a beautiful royal purpley color. Very nice. Uh, a lot of them are jewel tones, and this one is a jewel toned green, but they call it absinthe, which I feel like is more spooky and mysterious. And I was trying to figure out what color I wanted in this pattern, but I didn't really know. And then I was like looking up articles all about what colors are best for inducing sleep. And I like the color purple, but apparently purple causes nightmares. I don't want any nightmares. I want good dreams. So. <laughs> According to this article I read, uh, green and blue, blue being the best, but green being following after blue, are the best colors to sleep with, which I thought was interesting. 
feel like red makes sense. Red is more of an energizing color, apparently. So that one I, I, I can get behind, but I don't know why purple is so bad. So that was the last thing I think I had to tell you guys about the bedroom, everything else we've already done together. So let's just get to cleaning so that way the bedroom reflects the now beautiful bathroom and then I can feel at peace once again being in this room because it's been a while. Oh, and then one more thing. Sorry it's so dark in here. I was hoping to get uh, my video done before the sunset, but apparently I am terrible at predicting how long videos are gonna take. So now it's seven o'clock and the sun has gone to sleep. Well, you guys, I think I'm finally finished. So let me show you what all I've been doing the past five hours to get this bedroom and bathroom transformation to its peak potential. enjoyed seeing that before and after of our bedroom bathroom combination hopefully that was as satisfying for you as it was for me to see those before and after shots also do you see bernie somewhere in this video let me know down below if you caught what mr bernie is hopefully your 2021 is turning out better than mine is so far <laughs> and we have a great year yeah. And before I forget, I had changed my uploading schedule from uploading every Tuesday to uploading every Wednesday. It just makes more sense with my schedule, so I don't know really why I picked Tuesday. But I'm changing it to Wednesday, so from here on out, starting with this video, 
my videos will be on Wednesdays. Not at any particular time. Uh, I don't trust myself to stick to a time, but I do trust myself to stick to a day. So I'll see you guys next Wednesday with another video. Probably a chill one. It's gonna be great. Hope you guys are having an awesome yet spooky week, and I'll see you in my next video. Perfect timing because my voice is going away. <laughs> Bye!